yeah, yeah. I'm about to go to work. I'm going in. Listen. What up, though, YouTube? It's your boy, Boogie Gangs, the flyest sensei, and you are watching Boogie's Dojo, home of the flying kicks. Don't forget to hit that like button, comment, and it's your first time kicking with your boy. Please subscribe so you won't miss those sticker news and reviews. And today, flying into the dojo is the Trophy Room 7. <laughs> so we have the Trophy Room 7s, a new sheriff in town. And let me tell you, I was hurt that I couldn't get these pair, you know, when they first came out uh, last year around November. I was trying to get these lost and founds and the I'm Mommy and your force. I'm like, I need all three of these. My birthday month, I need all three. These are the ones I wanted. So the Olympic Sevens, they remind me of those. And I was like, I lost my Olympic Sevens and these are so close. And they got a good history behind it. But just hearing the story of, you know, Michael Jordan, you know, during 1992 Olympics, during that practice. You know, the new sheriff in town, where that all came from. It's dope that they brought all that into the sticker, had a good storytelling to these. So just let me know in the comment section if you guys hit these for retail. Or are you still looking, you know, for these later on? I mean, I would just say, you know, check your sneaker events, check on gold, check on stock X, you know, tap in with your resellers, you know, get it how you live. But compared to the trophy room ones, these shoes are at a nice price where you kind of negotiate or you can kind of play, play like like I did, which is around 300 because retail was 225 So let's get into it. The Trophy Room 7s, new sheriff of town. As you can see, that gold writing on there was the Trophy Room logo saying out there Trophy Room. And you got the little small Trophy Room logo right here with the Nike logo on your Air Jordan 5 box. And it has the Michael Jordan autograph right there written in gold. So the only thing with GOAT, and please be careful, guys. My box came in damaged. I didn't I didn't choose the damage option. I choose new on the box, new new and new condition, the whole nine. But you know, sometimes you don't get what you want, but the shoes overall are dope. So you have the Air Jordan Jumpman logo right there, as you see. So this is my personal size 12 with that gold ring logo. So let's pull it open from there. Let's see. So as you guys can see, inside it says a new sheriff in town I'm telling you this that boy is nice so inside the box it come with so much you know presentation and detail has a little coach's clipboard right there and on the inside of that as you flip that up let's do it one more time boom it has the teams blue team white team right there it was the uh dream team playing against each other for a practice game so magic team and Michael Jordan's team. And on the back, to get more of the storytelling, you have the story, the full details of how the story, you know, dialogue right there. It's nice, y'all. They really did their job on this show. So, voila. So, we have the Trophy Room 7s, a new sheriff in town. Let me tell you guys, if you're a fan of the Olympic 7s, these are it. These are it. Compared to... You know, so many collaborations of last year that we got. This is nice. This was well done. Okay. And, you know, it's a seven. A lot of people hate on sevens or they're just not in the sevens. So I'm happy that you guys are not in the sevens because I didn't, you know, I feel like I didn't pay that much for, you know, the resale value after these. I think that the resale value should be a little bit higher, but compared to, you know, your trophy room ones and stuff like that, this is really nice. So, on this shoe, you can tell right here on the side of the sole, you have Michael Jordan's autograph. I don't know if you can see that right there. And on the top of the sole, you have um, the Jumpman logo, which is in gold plating right there. The shoelace rings are in gold. On the tongue, you have that Air Jordan, which is not um, stitched on there or uh, laser printed. It's actually little gold, little platings on there. 
On the toe box, you have that nice red suede. Now, I will say with well, all this suede material right here, this white type of suede material, it will shed on the red. But what I did was hit it with a micro uh, fiber cloth and a, and a new book cleaner spray, and it cleaned it right up a little bit better. So it came out cleaner than before. That's my only problem I have with these. So if you have that problem, do that and you will be fine. So and on the, you know, the pull tab right here, you have that uh, gold metal type of ribbon there. And I want to say on this one, you have number nine, which is the number he had um, during the Olympics at a time. Even on the Olympic seven, it has a number nine on the back, which is cool. So on the bottom, you have that Olympic seven, still same colorway as that one, which is the golden jump man, the red, white, and blue on the Swiss cheese bottom right there. And with the shoestrings, they come with the navy blue here, but they also come with red and white shoelaces. We can get them out here for you guys. You guys can see it. There they go, right here. All right. Bear with me. Here we go. The red and white shoelaces right there. So there we go. We got those. So with these Air Jordans 7s, and let me say, these are one of the nicest Air Jordan 7s that came out last year, 2022. What is wrong with you guys? Why you guys don't like 7s like that? Because I know we're about to drop the Olive 9s. The Olive 9s have that Bortle type of look, um, like the Bortle 7s, but it's their own type of flavor of a remix. So I'm going after those. But a lot of people are like, no, those are sleepers. Those are sleepers. We're good. But you know what? It's okay for the 7 lovers. Sevens might be the ones that's going to be it, and we're knowing that they're going to come out with Travis Scott Sevens. So we're going to see if you're going to keep that same energy when the Travis Travis Scott Sevens is going to drop. Because usually anything Travis touch is going to be gold. So we're going to see. Maybe he can bring the Sevens back as well. I'm, I'm here for it. But, yeah, these are nice, guys. The Trophy Room Sevens are nice. So if you a shoe collector like me, you're a big fan of Jordans, you're a big fan of Olympic Sevens, Get these instead. I had the heart of the game sevens, but these are killing the heart of the game sevens. And these are a dope shoe to wear, you know, for 4th of July drop. I will be pulling these pairs out, no doubt. So that's my review on these. You know, thanks for kicking it with your boy. Don't forget to hit that like button, comment. And if your first time kicking this out of the dojo with your boy, subscribe, become part of the team. So let's go. And I will see you guys later for the next review. Peace. Yeah. Yeah. I just showed up the paint. Feel me?